Hey, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through a Tabata style abdominal workout. And this is a complete workout that you can follow along with right on the video as I'm doing it in real time. So if you're ready to get going, you're looking for a killer abdominal workout, something that's gonna to torch the abs, hit the upper abs, lower abs, lower back, basically a complete core training session, then change into your gym clothes, grab yourself some water, and let's get to it. So the way Tabata works is you're going to be doing 20 seconds of work, 10 second rest intervals, and alternating in that fashion for a total of eight rounds per exercise. So the first exercise, we're gonna do some crunches on the stability ball. Now, if you don't have a stability ball, you can use just regular crunches on the floor. That's fine as well. Let's get it all set up here. So stability ball crunch, it's just a, a basic abdominal crunch. That's what we're gonna be doing here. And I like the stability ball because it gives you a better stretch in the bottom position. And a tool that I'm going to be using now for this, it's a Tabata timer. And you can access this. It's, it's just a website. That's all it is. Go to tabatatimer.com. And this will allow you to time the workout. So it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, uh, repeat for eight cycles. Once we get going, you'll see that this starts off pretty easy, but as it progresses through, it gets more and more challenging. Starting session. Get in position. Get ready to go. So we're just going to do crunches non-stop for 20 seconds. And blow out your air at the top and really squeeze the abdominals. Take a little 10 second breather and then repeat for another, another round. Here we go. Doesn't seem like much, but as you get into it, you start to feel the muscles working. <laughs> Screensaver kicked in. Shoot. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'll have to make sure the screensaver doesn't kick in for the next one. Oh. 
I'm getting a burn in the abs already. Next one is flutter kicks to work the lower abs. All right, so flutter kicks, I'm just gonna demonstrate that one before we actually start the timer. So I'm gonna be lying down on the floor for this one. So I'm gonna take my hands, place them under my hips, just under my butt a little bit and prop up my hips. And it's kind of like a semi-leg raise and we're just gonna alternate kicking the legs back and forth. So it's called a flutter kick. We're just going to do that for 20 second intervals for the entire Tabata circus. Starting session. And we get ready to start. So just repeat the flutter kick for 20 seconds. And this really engages the lower abdominals. Work. <sighs> <sighs> 
more to go. If you're actually following along with this, you're probably already pumped in the abdominals. <laughs> I know I sure am. That's only two exercises. Still got three more to go. I'm going to do a stability ball back extension. You need something to brace your feet. If you're at home, I mean, you could tuck your feet like on the edge of the sofa, something like that, just to stabilize your feet. Curl over, and then it's almost like a reverse crunch for the lower back. That's what we're gonna do. If you don't have a ball, you can do a Superman back extension. So Superman back extension, you're just gonna lie from belly down, and lift your arms and lift your legs up and squeeze. Arms and legs up and squeeze. So again, it's the same movement, or the same muscles involved, I should say. You're engaging the lower back. So whatever variation you prefer. So I'm gonna anchor my feet in place. Let's get started. Starting session. Here we go. Work. I 
lower back is pumped. Holy crap. <laughs> it burns. All right, so the next exercise on our list is the pull down cable crunch. Now for this, if you have access to cables, that's great. If you have access to rubber resistance bands, uh, you can use that right there. I'm gonna anchor a rubber band across that, and then I'm going to uh, do pull down cable crunches. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that one for you so you can see how it looks. So again, hold it down like this to the sides of your head, the band, you're just going to do pull down crunches. And this mimics what you would do, like if you were doing pull down cable crunches at the gym, you're just using rubber resistance bands for it. If you're really stuck and you don't have anywhere that you can anchor them from overhead, you can anchor them from something like the leg of a sofa and do a resisted crunch with the bands instead. So I'll just demonstrate that so that you're, you know how to set up for the exercise before we actually set the timer. So same type of movement again, have the bands there and just crunch under resistance using the band. So if you can do the overhead one, I would prefer that. But if not, then you can make do with the line resistant crunch as well. That will work just, Still gonna work the same muscle. So don't get hung up on the exercise. Focus on working the muscle. That's the most important thing. Starting session. All right. Work. <sighs> 
good burn in the abs. And if this is too much, go at your own pace, but try and keep up the best you can. ready for our final exercise of the workout. And the last one is going to be a challenging one. So it's a very active exercise. So save, saving the hardest for last. So it's a, a lot of core stability, but a lot of metabolic activity as well. So I'm just going to alternate kicking the feet back and forth for this one. And that is the mountain climber. So again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Get the heart rate pumping. Two 
more rounds. So there you go, that concludes the ab workout. I'm telling you, my abs are toast. I underestimated how challenging this Tabata style abdominal workout was gonna be. I mean, rarely do I ever do an entire ab workout. Normally it's just throwing in a couple ab exercises at the end of my regular workouts, but it's nice every now and then just to dedicate an entire training session to nothing but the abs. I mean, my abs are pumped and I know they're gonna be sore tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed that workout. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback about it, leave them down in the comment section below. I love chatting with you down there. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button, give it a thumbs up, and uh, click that notification bell as well so you stay updated whenever I add new videos because I'm gonna be post posting up a lot more follow along home workouts along with training and nutrition strategies to help you get on track towards losing the gut, building muscle, and getting in your best shape. Now, if you haven't already done so, make sure to download a copy of the Total Fitness Bodybuilding app. That has a whole series of workouts that you can follow along with, from gym workouts to at-home workouts. There's sample eating plans in there. Uh, there's a lot of nutrition information to help you with building muscle, losing fat, whatever your specific goals are, you're gonna be able to find some information to help get you started on the right track within the Total Fitness Bodybuilding app. So I'm gonna have a link to that down in the description below. I'll also post it up there in the card so you can download it up there as well. And check out some of the other videos I've posted. Like on the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel, I've got over a thousand videos covering training and nutrition and mindset strategies to help you with building muscle, losing that gut, and getting in your best shape. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have some more videos blooped up to the side over there. Watch those and stay tuned for my next one coming soon. Have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care, over and out.